Right, I want us to prove the proportionality theorem here. Remember what I said? This theorem, it will be much more easier if we understood this one. It in the triangles with equal altitudes, so both triangles must have the same altitude, so that you can say area of this over area of that will be equal to this base over that base. Now let's come to this theorem. I want to have this scenario in this theorem. In other words, it was the base in this particular case. Now I want to have that in this, in this theorem. Now how do I do that? I have what we call a construction. What is it that I'm going to construct there? I'm going to join. In fact, before I even construct, I've got to understand that what is it that I'm, I'm using? I want, in this particular problem, I want to use UAB as a base. In the first part, I just want to use the side AB as my base. In this particular case, remember this particular problem, what was my base? It was BC. Right. <clears throat> now, when I use AB as a base, once I'm using this as a base, I must have my construction. 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 What is it that I'm going to construct here? It is important that you should, when you do your construction, you don't just put Orlando Pirates at the same time there. You should know the steps leading to that Orlando Pirates or to that pirate sign. I'm not sure what here we know, but let's move on. If you construct, you are going to join BE. You're going to join this line. So that's the first construction that we're going to have. We're going to join uh, BE. Right. Now we've joined BE. Umar is joining BE. It is going to take us, remember, we want to use. AB as a base. It's important that we want to use this side as a base. Now, once we why are we joining this? We want to have this scenario in this one. Now, how do I have that? It simply means that once I join this, I don't have this part anymore. This part is gone. This part is gone. This part is gone. Right. This is what I have. I have something like this one now. In other words, if I take this, it will exactly be that one. If I take this, this and turn it around that side, it will exactly be that one. Now we've got two triangles here. We've got this triangle, which is triangle A, D, E, and this other triangle, which is triangle B, D, E. I've got two triangles. But this theorem will only work if and only if these two triangles have got equal altitudes. I've got the same perpendicular height. So what is this leading me to? So it is important that these two triangles, if I really want to use this one, both of them must have the same altitude. Now, how do I create the same altitude there? Let's do it. Look at this triangle, look at this one, this triangle, this triangle, it will have this altitude. This is the perpendicular height of this triangle. This is the perpendicular height of this small triangle. If this is a base, so the perpendicular height would be that one. Ah, we do have the perpendicular height of this one, which is H in this particular case, but what, is, what will be the, the highest, the biggest, high, the, the altitude of this one? It will be the same thing. This will be the same height, the, the altitude of this triangle, as well as the altitude of this triangle. So both those triangles now have got equal altitudes. What do we know about triangles with equal altitudes? Ah, they've got the ratio of their areas equal to the ratio of their bases. We can now simply say the area la over area la is equal to this base over this base. Which theorem are we using when we do that? We're just using this theorem, equal altitudes. So we now can safely say, the area la over area la. In other words, this contract is in the middle. La. We joined OBE, so I create the altitude. Then we created this altitude, at AD, altitude on, altitude on AD. We created that altitude, Lapago AD to E, from AD to E. 
Right, that attitude that you created here. If you have a line A, D, or a line A, D, or a line E, that is the attitude. Now, we know that the area of this over area of this is equal to this space over this space. Reason? This theorem. Must be the same altitude or equal altitudes. Let's write that down. We are now saying the area of triangle A, D, E. A, D, E over area of triangle B, D, E, the second triangle, area of triangle B, D, E. It is B, D, E. Right. Triangles with equal altitudes have the ratio of their areas equal to the ratio of their bases. So this will be equal to what? In this particular case, it will be A, D over D, B, yes. It will be A, D over D, B. Right. We are saying the area la over area la is equal to the left side over the side. Remember what we want to prove. What is it that we need to prove? We want to prove that A, D over D, B is equal to A, E over E, C. We already have A, D over D, B, which is there. That's, what, that's where we want to go. We want to prove that AD over DB is equal to AE over C, EC. All that I was trying to do was to get my AD over DB there and prove that it, will, it is equal to the other ratio. Right. This was important. This step is very important. Remember, it applies this theorem. It applies this theorem. Triangles with equal altitudes have the ratio of their areas equal to the ratio of their bases. That's step number one. That's equation one. That's what I wanted to get first. Right. Number two, let's move on. Let me just take it back into its original state. Remember, we had a triangle like this one. This was C. This was never there. All these constructions, you do it on, at, at, on, on, on your diagram sheet. When you do Euclidean geometry, you are given a diagram sheet at the end. That's why you write your examination number and make sure that you tear it off. You also submit it with your answer sheet when you submit. Remember, this is what we are given. In the first part, I used AB as a base. Remember, a line drawn parallel to this side. Remember, these two lines are parallel. A line drawn parallel to this one divides the other two sides proportionally. It divides this side and this side. I've already used this side, which is AB, as a base. I've got to use this other side now as a base because it divides both sides proportionally. So this was important. I'm doing the second part of it now. I'm using, use AC now. Use AC as a base. I underline that. Because now I want to use AC as a base. AC as a base. At the same time, I want to create this scenario in that diagram. Now, how do I do that? I, I do my construction. Okay. I'm going to construction. I'm going to join DC now. I'm going to join DC. That is my construction. Join DC and also create altitude. Now, when I'm joining DC, I'm going, this is gone. This will, will go. This will go. This will go. This will go. This is what I have now. I have this tent this way, which is that one. I've got two triangles again. This triangle and this triangle. Remember, if I want to use this theorem, this theorem says triangles with equal altitudes have the ratio of their areas equal to the ratio of their bases. For me to use that theorem, I've got these two have got to have the same altitude, same perpendicular height. Now, let's create that. Do you see this triangle here? If this is a base, then the perpendicular height will be this one. This will be the perpendicular height. This will be my perpendicular height, my altitude, my, first, my second altitude. Remember, I've got two triangles now with the same altitude. Therefore, we can safely say the area la over area la is equal to that base over this base. I repeat, the area, the triangle over area la triangle is equal to this base over this base because the theorem is triangles with equal altitudes have the ratio of their areas equal to the ratio of their bases. That's what we apply here in this theorem. Let's write that down. 
We are now saying in area la, which is ADE, area, area of triangle ADE over, let's check over what? Area of this triangle over area of this triangle. What triangle is this? It's C E D C E D over area of triangle C E D is equal to this base over this base. Remember now I'm using A C as a base, A C as a base. So it will be equal to this base over this base. Because a triangle, you call another base. Go ben calling a triangle, then you call another base. But I've started using A of triangle A D E which is this one. Therefore, I start with its base, in this case, which is AE. AE over this base, which is EC. Remember, I don't lose focus of what I'm proving here. Remember, this is what we are required to prove. We are required to prove that AD over DP, which I already have here, is equal to AE over EC, which I already have here. Ah, what is it that we need to prove then we need to prove that AD over DB is equal to AE over EC. But I see that here. So in other words, I want to prove that AD over DB is equal to AE over EC. If you look prove it, look, getting an analog, which is what I got there. If we see for any 10 years, no manda any 10 years, go to see for yelling and no chablan, we should not chablan yelling and no man, we should bonk about 10 years. Therefore, that's the scenario, that's, the, 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 that's what we are going to use here, to apply here. We are saying, this one, we want to prove that local being analog. That's what we want to prove. But in this year's year, we go to the society, the Linga and the society, the Linga and the Linga. We must just prove that the Linga and the Linga and the Linga and the Linga and the Linga. Let's do this again. We are saying local and analog. Now local and analog. Oman has a local and analog. Oben and local and analog. That's what we want to prove. Oman look who five years. Now look who five years. Oman has proved it low. Oman look local and analog. Now local and analog. Oman has come with low and analog. Therefore, this will also be equal to this. Exactly what we wanted to prove. Now let's do that. This is there. We are trying to come with local and analog. Uma local will be lingan, come in a local lingan. Over local and analog, not local and analog. Let's do this thing. Let's look at this side in our left on both of them. Let's look at, at, at number one. Local and analog. What we have here, what we have in the numerator, the denominator. And this one also, what we have in numerator, the denominator. Let's start with numerator. And this is the zombie. I just found the numerator, the local color. Equation of color of this one, it's in the numerator. It's the area of triangle ADE. This one, the numerator. Area of triangle ADE. Right. Let's go to the next one and check in numerator on it is in. Look at the next one. I see fundamental. Area of triangle ADE. Area of triangle ADE. So my numerator is fine. So half the battle is won. My first copy is saying my denominator is fine. As come is amateur mentors were fun, come a gonkel look at fun. Umak fun a gonkel look here, come a nalokonga and nalokonga la galinga. Right, how do we do this now? Let's look at, uh, remember, let's go back to the diagram. Remember, good diagram, Yako, is a beso in Debu Aranjan. Let's let's. Manga Busu and did a good diagram, Chichak, go beso in Debu Kaleganje. Remember, this was B. Beso go back on Nalogo in Debu Kalegana, which is perpendicular height. So a diagram you have also in the end when you submit your answer sheet. But you don't just put those crosses at the same time. I've just shown you step by step where those uh, crosses come from, where these pirates come from. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's move on. We've just proved that we've just we see that error of triangle ADE is the same as error of triangle ADE. So look now look fan. If it has come with the denominator fan, therefore. We'll be proving what you can let the Lana let, whom I can let the Lana let, go be look at Galina and look. Then we'll be able to prove our theorem. Somebody, let's look at the denominators now. I want us to look at the denominators. Denominators. What is this one? It is the area of triangle BDE. It's 
So I just put it that way. See, per no, no triangle, put that way yet. Error of triangle B, D, E. B, D, E. It's this, it's this triangle. It's this triangle. Remember, these two are, 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 are parallel. It's this triangle here. This triangle here. I want us to look at this triangle. See, compression IP triangle. See, compression IP triangle, no, tri no error of triangle, C, E, D. C, E, D, this triangle. So we're looking at these two triangles, these two triangles. Remember this? Remember this? The area la, the area la, area la pair. Because these two are between the same parallel lines and they share, they share the same base. No matter what, once I get paid you give me a second, it will be something that is like that. Ah, this area will be equal to this area. Because they are between the same parallel lines. These two lines must be parallel. They are between the same parallel lines and they will be sharing the same base. Oh, but it's simply just, just been flipped over the other side. So I see the same thing here. So we can safely say that E area la, E area la, because they, share, they are between the same parallel lines and they share the same base. O base will be DE in that particular case. Therefore, we can safely say, safely say this area, E the area, B. E, U B D E, U B D E, B D E. Yeah, for an IP, the area IP, it is the same as the area of triangle C E D, C E D. So I'm saying, U C E D, the area la, is the same as the area la. Why are these two areas the same? Because they are between the same parallel lines. They are between the same parallel lines and same base. They share the same parallel lines and they're between the, they share the same base and they're between the same parallel lines. <coughs> now watch. If you look at the same look, go by your uncle and to the same Say, boy, I'll hold Now, go by look at the same Can't you foot now look at the same look? Who must sit look at the same look? Or go shoot now look at the same look? Therefore, we can conclude by saying, therefore, UAD, UAD over, DB, AD over DB is the same as AE over AC. AE over EC. It is therefore the same. Why are they the same? They're both equal to these two things, ailing and now and which was just proved in this particular case. This is what we call a proportionality theorem. Itini, a line drawn parallel to one side of a triangle divides the other two sides proportionally. If we've got one, if we've got one side drawn parallel to one side of a triangle, it will divide the other two sides proportionally. Remember, there are two options. The first one, AD over DB, AD over DB equals to AE over EC. The second option might be AB over AD, the same as AC over AE. Thank you. That is what we call proportionality theorem. Yeah.